All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our Monday morning miracle call. This is where we gather every week, every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, and we share our, our wonderful highlights and stories about the patches, starting with the X39. It is, it is like a vitamin B12 shot for the week. I love these calls. My name is Michelle Niels, and I am in Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm subbing for Karen O'Neill today. Let's all send a special prayer to Karen. She um, broke her shoulder and she's going to have surgery this week. So let's all send her extra special love. Um, love Karen so much. She, she's one of the four hosts for these calls. So if you're new, I'm going to go over the, the little housekeeping rules. And even if you're not new, I think it's always good to be reminded that these calls are our chance to share our love of the patches and this technology. And we speak about symptoms only. We don't name diseases. We, we don't say diagnoses because it's really important to stay compliant. So we can be using these patches for the rest of our lives. So we wanna stay compliant. So no disease names, please. And um, for the first 15 minutes, we're going to just speak about the X39, okay? The X39 is the star of the show. So we want to focus there. That's the patch everyone starts with. And it's recommended actually that you use the X39 for a minimum of 90 days before you add any other patch. So as Connie on her Zoom last night shared, you know, that is, if you can only afford one patch, that's the patch, $100 a month, you know, give your give your uh, give your money and your finances to that patch if your if your finances are limited because it does so much. Okay, so we're going to focus on that for the first fifteen minutes. Let's keep our shares brief. You know, thirty seconds to a minute. Although if you share in the very beginning, you can usually go longer because it's a little slower in the beginning because people are shy and then they start raising their hands. So. Let's get those hands up. There's a button at the bottom of your screen that says raise hand. Hopefully you see that. And also please leave your hand up while you're speaking. Don't take it down. Don't let any, and please host, leave it up because I can't see you and you move off the screen um, if, uh, if you take your hand down. So Larry is first. And I actually talked to Larry this morning. He texted me this morning and shared an amazing two stories about the X39. So Larry, yay, you're right there. You have your hand up. Um, go ahead and unmute. All right. All righty. Welcome. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I've been dealing with pain for 25 years or more. Lots of different issues. Anyhow, uh, tried the patch and I'm still, I still question. So after trying everything. So anyway, yesterday, let's see here. Let's see here. Was it, um. Uh, Saturday morning, I woke up with a sty in my eye. It was terrible. It was bad. And uh, and then uh, I went outside to uh, rip a tarp down, and there was a wasp stung me in the arm. And I grabbed the patch, and I put it on that, on that bee sting. It must have been on there for maybe a minute for the wasp sting, and it was gone. The pain was gone. The patch actually fell off, <laughs> so I know it wasn't on there for more than a minute. And then I came down to the gas station and with my sty in my eye and they looked at it. They took a picture of it, which I showed you, and then uh, put eye drops in it. And and so put some warm patch. I went home um, and had uh, put, um, decided, well, what the heck, I'll put a patch on it. I put a patch on it and then put gauze over it and taped it down until six o'clock and the the size of the sty was about the size of a BB. It was big. And my eyeball itself looked bruised also. And so uh, at six o'clock, I took it off. I saw no more swelling and just a little dot. And this morning, I put, I, uh, uh, I kept the uh, eye closed with a band aid. And this morning, it's, I can't even see a dot or anything that as if anything had ever happened. All right. Thank you, Larry. That was awesome. Larry's first time sharing on the call. And, um, you know, it's funny because I'm going to just tell a little tattle on you, Larry, because I, I just want to highlight something. Larry is an awesome man. I've actually never met him in person. He's he's a 
He's under one of my uh, one of my brand partners. He lives in Missouri, but I've been talking to Larry quite frequently. And in the beginning, he was in so much pain that it came through in his voice. And after about a month of being on the patch, he goes, Michelle, I don't know. I don't know if these patches are working. I'm still having some pain, although it's better. And I said, Larry, your voice is so different. You sound happier, lighter. You know, there's just like a lilt in your voice. <laughs> and it's true. And Larry, you know, I know you've been dealing with pain for a while. I do know it's it's getting better. Hang in there. Your, you know, your body is working on the things it's supposed to work on. And you and I you believe. just in, in case you had doubt, you had the the wasp and the and the eye, the eye issue that resolved very quickly. So very huge. I appreciate that. And yeah. I'm I'm just waiting to see more to happen. And um uh, we shall see. I don't believe in giving up. I started out with three months on the X forty nine and I, I'm going to finish that out and see how it goes. I do think I'm more alert and I think I'm sleeping better. Yeah. And getting some more solid sleep. Good. Good. Awesome. Celebrate those, celebrate those changes. Thanks, Larry. Thank and you. we'll see you on another call. Okay. Now right. we're going to take Diane and then Gregory. Good morning, everyone. I got my patches in the mail. For the first time almost a year ago, I wore an X39 for 12 hours, and the next morning I woke up and a nine-year-old shoulder injury, both shoulders, was no more, healed, <laughs> gone. In one day? One day. <laughs> no All pain, right. full range of motion, was back after nine years, no tenderness. Everything was gone. Everything was fine. Like it never happened. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Diane. Ah, all right. We, you know, we call it the Monday morning miracle call. We hear these beautiful stories and uh, we have the science. That's what's so great. Whenever anyone expresses doubt, I always send them to the research and science page. We have and, lots and lots uh, of and studies. Michelle, yes. I'll jump in. Because yes. I just listened to a recording from David this morning. Robin and I were listening to a recording. And he was commenting that, <clears throat> you know, there's very rapid pain relief and anti-inflammatory benefits of X39. So, Diane, that's probably what happened. You had some lingering inflammation causing pain. And, you know, in 12 hours, that can go away. So it's really amazing how quickly these patches can work for some things. I just wanted to mention, I notice a lot of people come in on the phone and have trouble raising your hand. And I'd like to suggest if that happens to be you and you have a story to tell, when there's a little pause, just say, Michelle, I'd like to share. Um, and because and, we don't want to ignore our own participants. And I know sometimes it's challenging to find the raise your hand button, especially if you're driving in your car. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Gregory. That's a great point. Sure. Okay. We have our friend, John Ward. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Unmute, John. Sorry about that. I couldn't find the 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 <laughs> mute button. Unmute button. You're good. So anyway, I, I received my patches on June the twenty seventh and twenty nineteen. So I want to just give a quick summary of what's happened. I didn't wear anything but X39 for six months. Okay. And the go. first thing that the first thing that happened, I held one in my hand, and it was first experience ever in my lifetime. I could feel the energy. Mm. I could just feel it. And I knew I had something because I had nothing wrong. We actually I got in the business because of my wife and uh just some health issues with her so then over time as a lot of you know the first 10 days i had deep deep rem sleep almost uh, going on six years later i still have deep 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 rem sleep my my biological my my uh circadian rhythm i no longer set alarms it used to take a bomb to get me out of bed <laughs> and I literally wake up at four, four thirty every day. Um, and uh, the other things that have happened, my eyesight's gone to 2015 and I get to play basketball with 20 and 30 year olds. Now, you so and Jonathan, 
<laughs> it's just hey, fun. It's and, just you know, fun. what I love about X39. It takes the metabolic dysfunction and puts it as metabolic fun in your life. Ah, from from metabolic dysfunction to metabolic fun. Okay, in awesome. the middle of dysfunction is fun. Oh, in the middle of oh, that's right, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm curious, John. If you get up at four or four thirty, what time do you go to bed? Ten or eleven. I don't need as much sleep anymore. You know, I it's, it's I, amazing. I, yeah, and you know, I, you have more energy than most people half your age. You are you yeah. are truly. Truly yeah. a, a rock star. <laughs> I, I had to take my daughter to the airport this morning and I was going to, I had my alarm set for three 30 just in case, which I never said it, but then she called and said, well, I don't need to leave till like four 30. But so I switched my alarm just to make sure. And I guess what time I woke up. Three 30. Three 30. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, John. Awesome. Great to see you friend. All right, Roger and Orla. Hi. Hi. Uh, just wanted to encourage Larry because I'm 86 and I've been on the patches almost a year now. I, when I started, I started about a, two weeks before I fell and fractured my sacrum and 14 days it was healed. So that really encouraged me and it encouraged me to keep on going. So I know it's going to work. And, uh, yeah i'm just waiting yeah because i've got a lot of issues and i think i fall i fall about once a week and i think i'm so busy keeping care of the falls that it doesn't have time to do anything else <laughs> <laughs> oh the patches are the patches are definitely working yeah the as gregory said somewhere i think i heard you gregory somewhere saying or um they are they are working it may not be the, the priority that's in your mind but mm -hmm. it is like if there's a pain in your body but your heart or your liver or some vital organ needs attention first, that is where the divine intelligence of your body is gonna to go to work first. Mm -hmm. So just keep the faith, everybody. Keep patching every day. Be faithful, drink water, good, clean water. And uh, yeah, and join these calls and ask your questions. Thanks, Orla. Was you know, there Michelle, one more thing I heard David say on this, on this talk this morning. He said that stem cells are attracted to inflammation. So they know where to go. So <clears throat> when there's a problem in the body, it's usually a, <clears throat> a accompanied by inflammation. And that's kind of a signal for the stem cells. You know, Gregory, I, for me, you cut out for a second, maybe not for others. <clears throat> stem cells are what? What did, what did attracted, you say? Attracted to inflammation. Oh, attracted to inflammation. Very attracted good. Attracted to yeah. inflammation. Yep. Okay. So it might not be inflammation that you feel. Mm -hmm. <clears> there <throat> may not be pain associated, but that's a signal to the to the stem cells that there's work to be done. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Orla, did you have something else? No, not really, except that I did fall recently and ended up with a great big hematoma on my arm. And um, the hematoma went away, but I've got a lump left. And I've been putting some things on that to get rid of the lump. You can put the patch right on it. Orla. Right. Then couple yeah. of days but i wasn't sure what to put on i put a on on it d on on it the eon right good plan that's okay. good thank you thank you thank you okay dolly and then coach vince all right i dolly. i i've had so many wonderful things happening i started in january the end of january um the first thing is that i I had my thyroid removed because it was stage four, the big C. And your thyroid does so many things for you. But the what happened was right here, I had a lump. And it, it was interfering with swallowing and all kinds of things. And so I would tell all the doctors that I go to, oh, well, it's just scar tissue. You have to deal with it. Don't, you know, just it, it's nothing. Well, they told me that my thyroid was a goiter too. So anyway, when I started the patches in three days, this lump was gone three days and it was there for 20 years. Oh my goodness. And another thing, I have so much more energy and, and so much more brightness. There's not that, you know, heaviness that follows me around sometimes. 
And I've been making pizza. Well, I'm Italian and my grandma grew up in Italy and all that stuff. But anyway, I've been Gregory. Making... So is Gregory. He wants your pizza. I can see it on his face. Oh, man, I'll give you the rest. I've been making pizza since I was 12. And I couldn't remember how to do it anymore. Well, I, I, I've been making pizza now for about a month. I make it about once a week. And yesterday it was better than ever. And I just am so thankful that I have my mental stuff back. I have my energy back. I, honestly, I sit, sometimes I'm sitting there and I go, I'm not 79. I feel like I'm 29. You know, and so it's just <laughs> wonderful. And Gregory, I'll get you the recipe. It's really easy. <laughs> and Dolly, I almost fell off my chair when you said you were 79. Oh, no, <laughs> thank <know>. you. <laughs> what a youthful woman you are. Yeah. Yes, we're all thank getting you. younger. Thank you. Thank you, Dolly. Um, Coach Vince and then Allie. Uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm Coach Vince, and uh, I live in California. And uh, my my testimony is for my my pup. Uh, it's, it's a German Shepherd named Bruno Mars, and he weighs about a hundred pounds, but he still thinks he's a lap dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, he's what you I would consider a dog groomer's uh, nightmare. Uh, mm -hmm. As soon as he hears those little clippers going, man, he's he's jumping around. So I um, previously I've tried the uh, the CBD biscuits and what have you. And they work um, moderately well. But the other uh, last week, I decided, you know what? Let me just try the Eon patches because uh, I've used them for rest myself and relaxation. So I put a couple of Eon patches on, 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 on Bruno and I put him in with the groomer. And she said uh, complimentary uh, at the end, what a cool and calm dog. You know, what, what a pleasure it was to, to groom him. You know? <laughs> and I thought, same dog? Yeah. <laughs> but, That's but, awesome. Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. And, and the other uh, um, testimony I have is for last couple few years, I drink that simple, simple orange orange juice. Now, I can take the cap off, but they have some type of little uh, seal, aluminum and plastic seal on there. And I just haven't been able to muster the strength to get, get the seal off in a couple of years. I have to cut it off and get a screwdriver or something. I can't get the seal off. Well, guess what? About a month ago after I used the uh x39 for a month i can take the seal off <laughs> yeah and that, that might be a big deal to any, anybody else it's a big deal to me one more thing and that is uh my watch is a is a is a, a, a date just watch and I, I for the last three years i haven't been able to see the the date or the day on on my watch and the other day i was looking at my watch to get the time god bless me man i looked on there i could see the day and the date all there you i know go products are working man whether you whether you whether you recognize or not you know so your yeah, eyesight so, yeah yep. yeah celebrate yeah. every single win the little ones the medium ones the big ones celebrate them all that's awesome yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you thank you vince that's wonderful <clears throat> robin had the same thing um robin muscari where she went and reached for a newspaper right gregory realized oh i don't didn't need don't need my glasses wow so thank you all right Allie. I um I have a thing where I wake up in the morning with bug bites and I realize okay I have to clean all my mattresses. Oh no. So I had to clean them and flip them around myself and that's pretty hard to do. So by the time I went to sleep I was hurting everywhere. So I put ice wave on the kidney one points on the soles of my feet. And by the time I was ready to go to sleep, the pain was gone. And I've been sleeping like unbelievably well. I think I slept 10 hours last night without mm. even waking up. And that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> and I, I wanted to share with um, Orla, this that I'm wearing here is an Eon patch because I went through a few years of always losing my balance. And uh, Dr. Shauna actually told me, put an eon right there. It's an acupuncture point that helps you with your balance. So I would definitely give that a shot. Wow. Okay. So Allie, is that above? It's hard to tell because of oh, the mirror image. Is that above it, right eye this, or your left eye? Um, I 
put it, uh, I test myself to see where it needs to go because left and right side of the body have different needs. Mm -hmm. And it's been wanting to be over on the right side. It's the center of my eyebrow right center above. Of the eyebrow. Okay. Thank you. Great, great tip. I had to share that with my mom. All right. Thanks, Allie. Wonderful shares. Um, go ahead, Jerry. Hi, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Um, didn't have any hands, so I wanted to come in. Uh, was up in Pittsburgh with my dad, whom a lot of you know. He's 97 years old. Uh, I want to make sure all of you know that just keep patching because it doesn't matter with your age. He's had so many remarkable, remarkable results over the years, and his do doctors have been really amazed with everything going on. Um, the cardiologist had said that the heart is much better than when they had put the pacemaker in eight years prior. Uh, he had some problems with um, stage four. Uh, I guess I can say that. Anyways, the, the, uh, the organ on the side of your body that works with, uh, I don't know if I can say, anyway. They expected him to, oh, okay. They expected him to be on dialysis a long time ago. Okay, and it has, it has neutralized sure. him that he has not had to all these years. He's been on it a little over two years and they're just amazed. Mm -hmm. And I know people with, I know a person that had been on it for two years, had the same thing, but was a lot younger, 25 years younger than my dad. And her blood work is perfect now. And while I was up there, the nursing head in the office was having trouble walking. So I says, okay, let's try this. So X39 came up and then we did also the next day uh, we put targeted pain E on. She is now a customer and it is working very well. So there are some results from the Pittsburgh area. Beautiful. Thanks, Jerry. Good to see you. Nice to see oh, you. Your dad hanging in there for 97 and getting younger. All right. right, John. Yeah, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or whatever part of the, the day or night it is, wherever you are. Uh, yeah, um, I've been on the patches since uh, early February con consistently. And uh, what, what, there are several things that have happened for me. And one of them, I just recently got. Uh, excited about is uh, giving the body a chance, you know, to do something by by initiating something. So I I started um, because I have a goal of um, next summer being really active and fit to do some fairly strenuous work. Uh, I've been increasing my exercise program a little bit and i decided uh that i i my room is uh on the second floor so i go upstairs and i decided to see if i could take two steps at a time now and so i did and to begin with it was a little bit of a stretch uh and now it's really easy and i'm starting to think about well maybe i could run up a little bit uh, two steps at a time, and uh, and then just the other day I said, "Well, let's try three. and so I stretched myself to go three steps at a time, and um, uh, and my body is really happy to do that. Once I, you know, I I I do it uh, once, and then it says, "Oh yeah, we can do this," and so uh, doing it more consistently. And I just really love giving the body a chance to do something by trying something that is, uh, and you know, these wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. I'm sure had I not been on, on in patches and having had, uh, other kinds of successes, uh, that just really, uh, encourage more success. Thank uh, you. That's yeah. beautiful. Thanks, John. Keep it up. Yay. Yep. Jumping three. I wouldn't go more than three steps, though. <laughs> I think three is plenty. <laughs> Good for you. All right. We're going to end with um, sun showers, Carol Lynn and Cynthia. So no more hands, guys. We're getting to the bottom of the hour. Um, sun shower and then Carol Lynn and then Cynthia.
Hello, my dear. Beautiful host, Michelle. Good morning. <laughs> and everybody. Um, well, I, I think I'll tell two stories. Uh, just for the new folks, consistency. Please, please don't ever give up. You never know how your body is going to surprise you. Those that have been around the block with me know that I could not smell the first 72 years of my life. Suddenly, I can smell. <laughs> and that was after how long, Sunshower? It was a two-year stint two, with uh, two year X39 stint. on my C7 every day, every day. Every day, two years. I, I just want to give another quickie, and that's my friend Stuart, who can't seem to make it to our calls, but I'm going to tell his story again. He had one of those things that leave half the body not working well. He had that a couple of years ago. Uh, the muscles in his face wouldn't work in this area. So everybody thought he was all grumpy all the time. But a week into wearing the X39, now he can smile. Wow. <laughs> and now he can use and feel his whole right leg, uh, which he couldn't feel for two years. I just saw him yesterday and he goes, yeah, definitely I can still feel, but now I feel a pain in the knee that, that I didn't know about before. <laughs> And you're like, celebrate. Yes, you can feel. <laughs> Put <laughs> so a patch on it. <laughs> I know the X39 will work on that too. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Sunshower. All right, Carol Lynn. Good morning, Love Tribe. These calls are amazing. I wanted to share a tip from Dr. Dennis from Connie Zoom's call yesterday. He mm -hmm. suggested putting Ice Wave Tan on the source of pain for those that are new, it's a dual patch system. And the second patch, instead of trying to figure it out, he asks, where is the next pain? And so I tried that this morning because I tripped and fell last Saturday and um, it really is helping. Um, I did put the tan, anyway, that's what I did. I put the tan where the source of pain was on my rib and then uh, there's still another pain just next to it because before I was putting the ice wave down by my foot. And so that's just a good tip. I wanted to show you that um, when I tripped and fell, I immediately put energy enhancer. I moved it uh, to the top of my hand. And this is what my hand looked like oh my um, gosh. like four days later. And this, I, I don't know with the lighting, you can't really see it very well, oh, but no. it's I way see. better today. And wow. I wanted to share because it's X39 and X49 that I believe helped me not fracture anything. I had an X-ray uh, a couple of days ago and I my rib is fine. So bone wow. density results have been not so good. And with X39 and 49 for two years, really helping. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. That's amazing. Great. <laughs> Take pictures, you guys. Sometimes it's, a, well, pictures worth a thousand words all the time. Thank you. All right. We've got Cynthia. We're going to end with you and then I'll turn it over to Robin and Gregory. Go ahead, Cynthia. Can you unmute? Unmute. Um, there you go. So I'm going to be really brief. I started the patches in December of last year, and I live in Orlando, Florida. And if you've been in Florida recently, you know it's really, really hot. Uh, the things that I noticed with the X39 is I have way more energy. I'm able to do tasks that I wasn't doing. To the point, I was up at 6 this morning, fed the dogs, took the dogs for a walk, came back, and went out and mowed the back lawn before 9 30 this morning oh my. so I could I can tell you that six months ago even when it was cool I couldn't have done that so there is something to be said for staying on them for a while we had some immediate results and then had a lull I had a retracing in my knee and my hand and an old injury and the fact that I was able to do that this morning in you know 85 degree weather I was pretty happy Ah, that's, that's something to really celebrate getting up and going right for it. 
not having to not having to move slowly into your day but jumping into it <laughs> that's yeah. worth a lot thank you yes. Cynthia awesome have a great okay. day yes you too okay I see Robin has uh has joined us good morning Robin good morning and thank you everyone wonderful job Michelle as always and I think the the message today is consistency it's always working, and like we know, it may not be working on what you want, but it's working on what is most important. And keep sharing, keep patching, and stay with it. And drink your water, take your minerals. Things just get better and better and better. So tonight, um, we have a special guest tonight. Uh, Ryan Barson, our Global VP of Sales, is going to be joining us with a presentation he did on our 20th anniversary cruise for everybody and we've invited some of our cruise mates uh, to share a little bit about their experience of, of being together with 475 other life waivers uh, every single person in the spa was patched <laughs> you saw little patches everywhere it was wonderful so they're gonna sh share a little bit about um their cruise experience uh, everyone's home <laughs> safely we uh, we several of us had some adventures on the way home uh but we're all home safe and uh, grateful and so tonight we'll be hearing from several of them i'm i'm hoping that uh dr nicholas will be on i'm hoping to hear from kai and connie and janet and a few others so we'll see how this goes tonight but we have a chuck full call and great to be with everyone you want to say anything honey We'll be excited to see you all tonight. You told them that we, potentially we're expecting Ryan Barson, our senior vice president, a number of the our, our field leaders who are on the cruise with us to be sharing little tidbits. So it's going to be a fun call. All right, hey, everybody. And last last announcement, there will not be a, a any calls next Monday. It's Labor Day. So Correct. I, Thank you, Michelle. Go have fun. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Unmute over here. Thank you. Hola, enjoy the Michelle. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye, Holly. Good Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Gregory. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks for the energy as usual, Michelle. Let's see. It's synergy. Hi, Robin and Gregory. You look wonderful. Since your trip, all tan. Have a great day. Hello. Have a good. Have, have a, a wonderful good week, everybody. Have a good Bye. day. Patron. of hostilities. Thank you. Oh, Jeff Boston. Oh, wonderful call. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.